What's up, guys? Welcome to episode two of Rags to Riches, featuring the Almighty O's, Leighton Orient. Uh, now, with it being Black Friday, I figured what a great chance and opportunity to offload some of these. So I've identified, uh, if I do it correctly, three players that I'm going to offload. We've got Charlie Granger, because we bought Billy O'Brien. Charlie Granger's now not needed, so um, we're doing massive deals, massive deals. I mean, the geezer's worth 13k, you can have him for five. Uh, who else have we got? Moncur, I mean, let's be honest, we know why we're getting rid of him. Offer to clubs, what's he worth? 14? Don't be silly, 5k. See you later. Who else have we got? Michael Clark. I mean, he's not bad, but I just can't see him improving massively. Um, you know, he's a centre-back with tackling of eight, determinations five. He's a bit lazy, 13.5k. Nah, don't be silly. It's Black Friday. What are we going to say? 5k. So, hopefully, we can offload some of these, which has helped us out just at least try and balance out the uh, the wage situation. I don't really want to be over the wages. Now, after the last fixture, um, we got beat 1-0 by a team that we shouldn't have got beat 1-0 by. So I'm going to drop the defence slightly deeper. Um, something else I'd noticed was Billy O'Brien hoofing the ball a lot and playing it to the opposition. So I'm going to get him playing it out to the flanks and fewer risky passes. Play it nice and simple. I mean, he's not the best of goalkeepers, so, um, you know, we want to try and keep it nice and easy for him. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, next game, we have uh, Eastley, who currently sits second, I believe. Yes, so it's going to be a tough game, but we'll try our best. So here we are, home against Eastley. Um, I've made one change. I've brought Kite in um, as I... Uh, advanced playmaker left everything else the same hopefully Bonnet can keep banging him in Bocco has been doing well as well so fingers crossed we can get some artists so I'm not going to keep telling him they're going to win every game especially after the last one um, so I'm going to say we are favourites for a reason so get out of there and make sure they've no doubt as to why come on boys Get it in, whip it in. Oh, come on, good pressure, this boys. Oh, good effort. A lot's going through Kite right now, which is good. I'm happy with that. Good ball, great ball. Oh, good effort. Come on, boys. Right, so, I mean, we've had plenty of shots, but not many on target. So, um, I'll tell them to keep going. Um, yeah, we have been the better team. However, I think we'll get more opportunities if we start exploiting the flanks. We've had our wide players out there quite a lot. Um, the full backs have overlapped, but the ball's still been in here and they've been playing it through the middle. If we can get it out to them, uh, full backs, they can be whipping crosses into the other players. So. We'll give it a try. Oh, my days, man. How can he be stood on the keeper with somebody man-marking him? Still managed to get that shot off. Told you. Centre-backs are shocking at defending him. Oh, God. Good effort. There you go, there you go. He's made a good run. Oh, man. You should have hit the target at least. Come on. Great ball. Great ball. Oh, you kidding me. Come on, five minutes. Son of a loss. 
Look at this. What is that? Terrible. We're going assertive. We were at home. In fact, yeah, assertive. It wasn't good enough at all. I'm not happy. Yeah, he's going for free. That's how good our deals are on Black Friday. So, we're against home against Maidenhead. Um, I have swapped out uh, Sendles White for Ella Kobe. His marking was like 10. I wasn't happy with his marking last game. So, we'll get Ella Kobe and see how he gets on. Um, I'm going assertive because I wasn't happy. Put an end to this poor form, man. Let's go. Oh my days. Ella Kobe, first thing he does, make a mistake. We're not creating any chances this game, man. We're getting the, we've got the possession, but we're not creating the chances. Right, let me just have a look. I'm going to go shorter passing. I do think we're giving the ball away a bit too much. Keeping all the ball a bit more now by the looks of it, which is good. That's it. Get it out wide. Nice. Oh. Go on. Oh, good effort. Good effort. That's decent. I'm happy. No, shorter passing. Although it was a quality ball. Go on, mate. Go on. Get in. Come on, boys. Sorry, Caprice. Quality pass, mate. <laughs> what a ball as well. Look at all the players around him and he still managed to get the shot off and score. Good job, mate. Good job. I'm not going to slag you off this time. Look at another quality ball by him. This is better this half. Much better. Oh, we're going to get caught out with them long balls from the opposition at some point. No. Oh, mate. He was so open then. Tell them all to concentrate. Good tackle. Good tackle, Karoma. He's back in the middle now, Bocco. Back in the middle. That's it. Go on. Get in! Come on! This is better, boys. So, what started off as like a bit of a nervous start for us turned out to be a good result. So, they deserve a good pat on the back from that. That was a good win. Well done. So, third game in, we've got Geisley, who are... Um, 15th at the minute in the league um, I've had to make a couple of changes to the subs bench um, Kite is out on international duty and so is my central midfielder so I've had to bring in Harold who's a striker and Mackinough who's not actually fully fit but he's um, a wide player so we might have difficulty in the central midfield position today but we'll see how we get on um yeah, pick up where you left out last time out because you played well then. Let's go, boys. Let's do some business. Go on. Go on. Get in, boys. Come on. Nice early goal. Settle the nerves. Oh, mate. What is this? 
If he just scored that, I'd have been fuming, man. Come on. Oh, good effort. Go on. Get in, man. Bocco getting on the score sheet again. Do you know, great determination there. Who was it who kept it in? Bonnet. Go on, son. Well played, boys. Come on. Nothing silly here. Nice play it through. Get back out. Uh, another long ball over the top. Counter attack. I mean, I've asked him to sit deeper, but he's still ahead of the striker. Let's peg him back again. Whip it in. Get your head. Go on. Oh. Alright, despite that silly defensive error, I've got to say, we are playing well, but we can still do better than this, definitely. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they get someone sent off this game. They've already got four plays and yellow cards. Tackle him. It's just... Do you know what I mean? It's just flaming lazy. You got like four opportunities then to stick a foot in. They all just stood there and watched him. Is he off? Told you. Somebody would get sent off. They've got both centre backs man marking their striker as well because they've only got a lone striker and they're so defensive. Go on, whip it in. Get in! Oh, penalty. Come on! So, goal scoring opportunity, he pretty much scored. Please, Mackinoff, man. Get in! Come on, boys! Could have been embarrassing, that. Is that another player off? Oh! <laughs> Two of them. Late is mate. It's all over for you, boys. If we, if we end up drawing or losing this now, I'm just going to call it quits. Get in! What a finish! Oh my goodness! Go on, Clay! What a thunderbolt! On the volley as well? Oh, mate! Is this a nail in the coffin coming? No. <laughs> That'll do. I'm happy, boys. Happy as. Got me nervous for a while there, but that'll do. Uh, yeah, that was a good win. Be happy with yourselves. So we've got Boreham Wood this game away from home. These boys are sat around 11th. Um, I've had to make one change because Dayton's injured for two to three weeks. Brought Mackinoff in. He's not long come back from injury, but he played all right last game, so... We'll give him a chance out there. Um, I'm going to be a bit cautious with this one. Because I don't want him to get, you know, overexcited with his fixture. We've got to stick our heads on and, you know, keep concentration up there. That's it. Make a movement, Clay. Nice. Play it through. Go on, Caprice. Put a ball in. Go on. Go on. Oh, good effort. Put pressure on him, man. Flaming three of them stood there. He's ten feet from you. Look at this. He peels off. Three of them. Look at them. They're holding hands for God's sake. 
first shot they've had on target. Right, I mean, I'm going to have to go aggressive with them because this is just terrible. In fact, no. Team talk. Why can't I do it to the defenders? Do something, man. Look at this. Every bloody time. Just whipping it in behind our flaming defence. Look at how much out of position he is. He's sprinting back to get in his position and then... Oh. Makinov, go on. Go on. Get in! Get in! Turn this around, man. Come on. Let's get another one in quick succession, man. Pressure, pressure. Go on, Bonnie. Go on, Bonnie. Get in! Boom! Come on, boys. Go on, he's he's overlapped. He's there, he's done his job. Go on, go on. Ah, oh. get something. Ah. Oh. Do you know? If they score, oh my god. Last chance saloon. Can we get something? Go on, Coulson. Oh. Disappointing. That's how I'm going to say that. Disappointing. It wasn't good enough. We should have won it. I was happy with Bonnet though. Happy with his performance because he scored two quality goals. Right, last game of the episode against Halifax at home, who are currently ninth. Um, I've had to get take Harold off because he's injured two to three weeks, brought Ochiang on. So hopefully we'll put a better performance in than we did last game, or at least put a performance in that we did when we two went 2-0 down. Um, in fact, I'm going assertive. I'm expecting nothing but a win after that last game. Come on, Mooney. Whip it in, someone. That's it. Go on, Bonnie. Oh, what a shot. A good save as well, man. So, a bit of an uneventful first half, really. I think that... Uh, yeah, we, des we do deserve to win this match. You've got to dig deep to get the flaming win. He shouldn't have been given that opportunity, man. Good tackle. I'll do. Right. Push up as a unit now. There's three of you against one guy here. Go on, Mooney. Oh, mate. Pressure. Don't let him get the cross in, man. Oh, wow. Played Billy. Go on, Kai, play him through. Get a decent crossing, mate. Go on, Kai. Go on, Karama. Oh! Come on, can we get a last minute one? No. Oh, man. I'm disappointed with that. I am. Um, I mean, obviously, it's better than a loss, but. We should have won it. We should have won it.
Right, so I think we'll call the episode there, though. Um, let's have a look at the league table. Um, we're currently sixth. Played 10, won 5, drawn 3, lost 2. We are positive on the goal difference. Um, however, this see, this episode, pretty much all of it, Dayton's been out injured. Um, who's Who was, as we recapped on the last episode, highest average rating, highest with our assists, player of the match. He's still highest and he's been injured for like three weeks. How long is he out for now? Um... Still six days to three weeks. Uh, Harold got injured. This guy here, I can't wait for him to come back. But he's out for uh, seven to nine months. Um, so overall, I don't think the episode is as bad as it could have been. Bonnet banged in a few goals for us, which is good. Um, we still haven't got anyone that I want to bring in that we've scouted. But I've still got the scouts out there doing some work. So, if you have enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new around here, please feel free to subscribe. Join us on social media. Links are in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.